Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of round two of the Totally Awesome Tournament. My name is Josh Ageddon. Uh, originally, uh, Sean was going to be here to commentate uh, this half with me, just like the first half yesterday. Uh, but due to some technological issues, that just wasn't going to happen. It was not in the card. So it's just going to be me doing solo commentary today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Go watch CIW. Thank you, Sean, for joining me on commentary yesterday. Big shout out to Sean McCarty. Uh, but yeah, we are starting the second half of round two of the Totally Awesome Tournament with a, what can only be described as a strange bedfellows match. We have Slenderman versus Shinsuke Nakamura, which only in TAW <laughs> will this kind of pairing come to fruition. And honestly, I'm here for it. I am here for it. I'm interested to see how this plays out. Of course, Slenderman advanced in the tournament by defeating Dale Earnhardt Jr. by busting out the Slender Clutch. Haven't seen him use that in a hot minute to win the match via submission. Uh, and Nakamura defeated Wario to advance to this round. Who was moving on to the quarterfinals? It is about moving on to the quarterfinals, ladies and gentlemen. Will it be Slenderman or will it be Shinsuke Nakamura? And we've got some banger matches for you here on the second half of the second round of the Totally Awesome Tournament. Uh, of course, probably the one I'm looking forward to the most is our huge main event, John Cena versus Deku. That is going to be fun. I can't wait for that matchup. Uh, but here we go with our opening contest for this evening's proceedings. Here comes Shinsuke Nakamura, who both him and Slenderman, honestly, this tournament I feel like has been a shot in the arm for both of them because Slenderman honestly has just been dealing with the absolute disintegration of the Hounds of Horror. And really winning against Dale Earnhardt Jr. is the biggest thing that Slenderman has done in a while. So, And Nakamura defeating Wario. I mean, Nakamura had a little bit of momentum earlier in the year and a little bit last year when he won the Excalibur Championship, but hasn't done all that much as of late. But again, he defeated Wario. Will he continue that momentum here in this matchup? Slenderman versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Here we go to kick off the second half of round two. And Slenderman immediately starting the matchup off, almost throwing him into Alfred. Watch out, Alfred. <laughs> Please. Dude. Over in CIW, referees get battered all the time. We literally have a hashtag to save refs. Doesn't happen as often here in TAW, but it still concerns me. Oh, counter by Slenderman with a big belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Uh, Slenderman has the height advantage. I don't. He's kind of... Oh, Shocker, I know. He's slender. He is literally the slender man, so I think Nakamura might have more mass to work with. But absolutely, Nakamura is the better striker. And look at the Saito suplex. See, I don't think Slender Man weighs all that much, because, again, he is he is the slender man. But anyway, now throwing. Oh, tried to go for something, but Slender Man with a nice counter, sending Nakamura flying to the outside. And again, this is going to be a battle of attrition here. In our opening contest, and smart move by Nakamura. Slenderman tried to follow him to the outside, and Nakamura uh, took him out with a chop block. And now some old kicks right to the face. <laughs> Several kicks to the face uh, to, to the face to knock him down. And now Nakamura top rope. Oh, what a flying knee strike! What? And, and Slenderman just absolutely shook it off. Barely even registered. That was a devastating knee strike. But not Slenderman was like, yeah, no, didn't even feel it. I don't have a face, so that didn't hurt. But a big belly-to-belly -belly suplex counter by Nakamura. Trying to do something here against Slenderman. And now, oh, he's got Slenderman up against the ropes. And again, this is a problem that, Nak that Slenderman's going to have to deal with in this matchup. Again, Nakamura, a seasoned and experienced striker. And I think we're going to see another one. Oh, boot right to the face if Nakamura... If, if Slenderman has a face, if Slenderman had a face, uh, he would not any longer. Because it just got kicked off of him. Again, you... You need to have a face in order for it to be kicked off, but still, you know what I'm trying to say. Now, oh, slamming his head, his, that's what I'm going to say, his head into the announce table. Uh, and now Nakamura working over uh, the head of Slenderman. Again, the Bomier knee strike directly targets the head. Uh, and, oh, nice drop toe hold. Man, Nakamura's wrestling a very impressive match thus far against the bigger competitor and a big knee drop right to the sternum. Again, if Slenderman has one. Cover, not even, apparently he doesn't. A kick out at zero. Uh, that's got to be intimidating, but a oh, nice counter by Nakamura. And, oh, how, how do you not blow out your knees? And, oh, big clothesline by Slenderman. How do you not blow out your knees on that? Nakamura missed that knee strike and landed right on both legs. That that looked uncomfortable. And, oh, uh, speaking of knee strikes, uh, knee right to the back off the pendulum backbreaker by Slenderman. 
And now, oh, this is an awkward position to do this with. He's setting up for the most terrifying move in all of professional wrestling, the slender elbow. And I know for a fact that Shinsuke Nakamura has a sternum, so I bet that hurt. Uh, we'll see if he gets more than a zero count here. I think he's going for the cover hook in the leg. One. Okay, Nakamura does have a sternum. He got a one count. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, Nakamura trying to fire back, though, with some more strikes. Again, the better striker of the two. Uh, I think more than anything else, Slenderman needs to keep up the as far as like being intimidating. And, oh, knee strikes again to the head of uh, Slenderman. And Slenderman's in a little bit of trouble here. And Oh, never mind. Never mind. Just about cut him in half with that spear. What a spear, but... Uh, Oh, oh, tried to go to the outside to follow Nakamura. Nakamura catching him. Smart move by Nakamura into an exploder suplex on the outside. Man, he baited him into that one. Oh, and now said it. He usually uses that to set up for the Bomier knee strike. And he got him right in the... Again, if Slenderman had a face, he wouldn't any longer. And Nakamura surveying the damage done here. Uh, I, I don't know if I agree with the strategy by Nakamura. I would have gone for a count out. I would have gone for a count out. I... I, I I respect Nakamura trying to win this uh, as honorably as possible, but you just knocked him out with the Bomie. Go for the count out, dude. Now into the cover. One, but only a one. That is exactly why. you would. I think you would. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten speared again. You wouldn't have gotten speared again. Dear God, that was a devastating spear. I mean, we saw last night Nero defeated Android 17 via count out. It's a viable way to advance. Oh, oh, here we go. And a massive choke slam. You want to talk instant regret. One, two. Oh, but Nakamura just barely kicks out at two. That was close. Okay, but I, I, I bet Nakamura regrets. Oh, big clothesline, though. I bet Nakamura regrets not going for the count out here because I think he would have won the match via count out if he didn't try to haul, uh, try to haul Slenderman back into the ring. But another uh, measured knee strike right to the skull. And now Nakamura top rope. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Mid-air. Choke slam again. That might do it. Oh, and end of the cover. Oh, but Nakamura's way too close to the ropes. I think that was a little bit of des a little bit of desperation on Slenderman's part right there. Immediately going for the cover instead of dragging him away for the ropes. I think Slenderman is just desperate to end this thing, ladies and gentlemen. Now going after the arm. And now Slenderman is just doing everything he can here. And now, again, going after the arm. Oh, counter knee strike to the gut by uh, Slenderman. Oh, what's Slenderman going to do here? Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, oh, but this time he misses the knees. And oh, what a follow-up clothesline by Slenderman. And another cover. Will that do it? One, two, but only a two count again. And Slenderman's got to be getting frustrated here. Oh, he caught his foot. He caught his foot. Oh, a nice inside trip. And into the, the walls of Slenderman, I guess. Uh, again, he needs to go for the Slender Clutch. That's how he defeated Dale Jr. in the first round. Oh, but oh, oh counter by Slenderman taking him down. Uh, counter by Nakamura taking him down, excuse me. And now Nakamura perhaps setting up for the Bomier knee strike. Slenderman back up. Slenderman back up and oh, not allowing him to go for it. Oh, counter, counter. And oh, oh, he tried to go for the Bomier knee strike, but Slenderman saw it coming. What a perfectly timed drop toehold. What a counter. Oh, perhaps setting up. Oh, going for another choke slam. It's got him up. No, but a counter by Nakamura into a flatliner. Counter after counter in this matchup. I was not expecting this to be so competitive. Oh, but now Nakamura lining him up. If he nails another Bomier, it's over. And, oh, right to the temple. That's got to be it. Two Bomiers. One, two, and three. Nakamura advances to the quarterfinals. Man, j the same exact way he defeated Wario in the first round. Shinsuke Nakamura advances to the quarterfinals. That was a hell of a match. That was a great way to kick off uh, the proceedings tonight, the second round, the second half of the second round of the Totally Awesome Tournament. Nakamura advances. That was a hell of an effort. That was a hell of an effort. If, if Slenderman dragged him away from the ropes off that midair chokeslam, we might have had a different outcome. But for now, Nakamura building a lot of momentum going on. Oh, boy. Oh, dear God. Well, we go from a strange bellow. We go from a strange bedfellows match to Marvel versus DC, the Requiem, reckoning, fan bases in flames colliding once again. Deadpool versus Bane up next. This is going to be a very interesting contest. Uh, Deadpool, of course, has promised repeatedly he won't shut up. <laughs> he, he's like, I'm winning this damn tournament. And I'm like. You have been saying that. You have been texting me that. You have been tweeting that. 
to a nauseating degree. I get it. You are going. I, I, I honestly, part of me kind of hopes that he does win the tournament. But at that point, he'll never shut up. If he loses, he'll never shut up. I mean, I get that your thing is you're the Merc with the mouth. But still, you're annoying me. <laughs> you are annoying everyone, Deadpool. I, I know that that's your thing, but my god. But I would be a little nervous going up against this incarnation of Bane. This version of... This is the most pissed off I have seen Bane in a hot minute. Uh, he's been embroiled with this bitter feud with uh, Sephiroth. I mean... Remember what happened during the first round of the Totally Awesome Tournament when Bane uh, defeated the Incredible Hulk by destroying the ring and then immediately got into a brawl with Sephiroth around the wreckage. One of the most insane endings to a TAW show ever. So I'm concerned. I am concerned. Bane honestly is one of the dark horses to take this entire tournament. I won't be surprised at all if he does. I mean, the man's a former internet champion former molecular champion, uh, he almost won the world title on a handful of occasions, former magnation champion, former, just, he, he's done so much in wrestling. And of course, he uh, uh, iconically broke uh, the bat, so. Will he break the Merc here tonight? That's what we're going to see. And uh, we also have Jeff the Killer versus General Grievous in another Strange Bedfellows match, and our main event, John Cena versus Deku, which I am very much looking forward to. Here we go, Deadpool and Bane, and, oh, immediately knee to the jaw, bad start for Deadpool, backbreaker off the knee to the face, and Bane is already all over, De oh, Deadpool trying to fight back, oh, never mind, <laughs> never, he just spiked him like a basketball, that was disgusting, what a spine buster, oh, I am worried for Deadpool here. Uh, I, oh, oh, dear God. Oh, God. It's, oh, my God! What a clothesline. He nearly decapitated him. Good thing Deadpool has that healing factor on. Like, why are you taunting? Why would you taunt? Why? You have this giant, veiny, venom-induced gorilla attacking you, and your your first response is, I'm going to taunt. I Okay, that's what you need to do. That right there. That right there. Go after the legs. Go after the legs. That is That might be your only prayer to win this match. I know you like living on a prayer. For those of you that have seen Deadpool and Wolverine, you know what I'm getting at. But still. And now Bane just telling him to come get some. Oh, and Deadpool responds in kind. There we go, Deadpool. It's one way to do it. Picking him back up. Oh, going after the massive arm. Yeah, that's the, you're not going to overpower Bane. It is not going to happen, Deadpool. And now picking him back up off that shoulder block. Oh, this might be a quick match, ladies and gentlemen. He's got Deadpool up, and a brutal kidney-exploding sit-out powerbomb. Devastating impact. Deadpool is in serious trouble. Oh, oh, no. And not even going for the pin. Bane, I think, just wants to make an example out of Deadpool here. I'm very concerned. I mean, again, it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, oh, counter. Oh, sending him knees first into the steel step. Smart move. What a counter by Deadpool. And I was just about to say, it wouldn't be the first time we've seen Bane destroy a Mar someone from Marvel in this tournament. And again, he suplexed the Incredible Hulk through the ring. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. And now he's about... Oh, no. And a... Just all oh, a spine buster just running him right through the barricade. First, he suplexes the Hulk through the ring. And now he spine busters Deadpool through the barricade. That, that might be it. Might be curtains here. It, Bane might win this thing via countout. That thing that Shinsuke Nakamura could have done. Oh no, I think Deadpool might... But Bane, what are you doing? What, why? Why or why? I, I guess I jinxed it earlier. Just launched Alfred out of the ring because he's a dick. Alfred's an old man. He, you don't do that. Oh, but Deadpool back up. Oh, oh, shoulder blocks. Deadpool trying to set up for the five moves of doom. Now we're going to see John Cena later tonight, so we're probably going to see a lot of five moves of doom. But that Deadpool with some core strength there, being able to lift that enormous, enormous man up and put him down. Oh, oh no, what? Oh, my. Deadpool's got him up. Tombstone pile driver. Tombstone pile driver on Bane. Cover him, Deadpool. Now into the cover. One, but only a one. What? Oh, oh, he blocked the kick. He blocked the kick. Oh, here we go. Weapon X. Weapon X. He got him. Weapon X connects. Cover him. Shooting the half. One, two. Uh, no, but not even a two and a half. And um, oh, counter though. Oh, counter to a Samoan drop. Bane tried to immediately pop up into a clothesline. 
But oh, but oh, oh, and again, Deadpool, Deadpool, you just gotta keep your foot on the gas, man. You gotta keep your foot on the gas. Only way you're gonna come close to beating this guy. Now bouncing off the ropes, uh, going for that wacky leg drop that he does. Big leg drop. I don't know if all the the uh, gallivanting and taunting and gesticulating is gonna help. But cover one, and again, only a one. God, that's gotta be infuriating. Oh, shot to the oh Bane trying to find. Oh, counter though, counter though, counter though, and one. But, oh, immediately into his own cover. One, two. Oh, counter by Deadpool. Oh, again, Bane is so big. Got way too close to the ropes. But, oh, Deadpool runs right into a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Again, you're not going to overpower Bane. He's simply just too massive, roided up, and just has so much of that Venom juice flowing through his veins. So much that even Venom is blushing. Oh, oh he's going for that power bomb again. Oh, oh, counter, counter. oh, counter by Deadpool into a face buster. Nice counter. And into a cover, one, two, but only a two again. Bane again surviving. Oh, and it runs right into another just debilitating clothesline. And that might be the final nail in the coffin for Deadpool here. Oh, here we go. Oh, setting up for the rise of the darkness. Oh, this is this is gonna be game set match, ladies and gentlemen. I, I think this is checkmate, everybody. And just plants him right in the middle of the ring with Rise of the Darkness. End of the cover. One, two, and three. I will give Deadpool credit. He fought his ass off, but just simply was not enough to overcome Bane in this tournament. I honestly think that there is a very solid chance that Bane wins this whole thing. If I'm Sephiroth, who advanced earlier, uh, who advanced uh, yesterday by uh, defeating Bruce Lee, I'd be worried because Bane doesn't hate anyone as much as he hates Sephiroth at the current moment. So if I was Sephiroth, I'd be a little worried. But Bane advances decisively in this matchup. A solid effort from Deadpool, but just was not enough. But great match nonetheless. Now, once again, we started things with a strange bellows. With a, I keep saying that. I'm such an idiot. We started things with one strange bedfellows match. And that trend continues. We have General Grievous versus Jeff the Killer. This... Oh, I said it in the in Slenderman and Nakamura. Only in TAW are these kind of possibilities possible. Wow, what a redundant thing to say. I, I, I graduated from the Department of Redundancy Department. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Sean once again. That's one of his favorites. But here comes General Grievous, who essentially murdered the Flash to advance uh, to this round of the tournament. Uh, I think, he, if memory serves me correctly, he beat him with the Jedi Killer and then put him in the Utapau Clutch to make uh, the Flash basically tap dance as, as he was tapping out. Uh, and Jeff the Killer defeated Venom to advance. Although I will say in that match, Jeff the Killer did bend the rules a little bit. He immediately uh, undid the turnbuckle pad. Um, uh, however, Jeff does have a little bit of momentum. Both of these guys have momentum. General Grievous and Cooler, once again, are number one contenders for the tag team titles. They won a triple threat ladder match. And at the Halloween special, uh, not ba barely a week ago, uh, Jeff the Killer defeated uh, Jason Voorhees in an Extreme Rules match. So both of these guys have some momentum. And again, they advanced in the uh, first round of this tournament. So yeah, both guys have momentum. Who is going to move on to the quarterfinals? And regardless of who wins this match, you know Jeff the Killer is going to be watching our main event. Because again, his hated, his hated nemesis that humiliated him at Hardcore Paradise, but one of the people that humiliated, humiliated him at Hardcore Paradise... Deku is on our main event against uh, the legendary John Cena. So you know Jeff the Killer is going to have a special interest in that matchup. Re honestly, regardless if he wins or loses, because I still think he absolutely despises Deku. He's made that perfectly clear. But can he get past General Grievous in this matchup? We will see. Here we go, General Grievous versus Jeff the Killer. Strange Bedfellows 2.0. And again, as soon as the bell sounds immediately going after the turnbuckle, but General Grievous, General Grievous saw how he defeated Venom. He's like, uh, not gonna happen. Uh-uh. This ain't it, Chief. No. And stop me. I honestly approve of that. Big power slam. You know, just beat General Grievous straight up, dude. Oh, now General Grievous... Oh, all right, Jeff the Killer knows he's cooked right now. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I'm... What are you doing? Now he's throwing a tantrum. Now, all right. I don't think Jeff is particularly thrilled right now. Oh, and again, trying to bait him here. Big drop kick, knocking him up against the ropes. And now Jeff, I, he knows he's not going to be able to overpower General Grievous. Big dropkick knocking him off the apron. And really, dude? Jeff. Really? You were so lame. I, I can't believe that I think you're cool. 
Oh, oh look at this. And now just... Does that, even, does that even work? Again, his face is metal. But, oh, I, apparently not. Apparently not. Rubbing his metallic face into the ropes. And it, uh, going... For, man, nothing Jeff is doing is working right now. He went for that springboard kick, but General Grievous was able to get underneath it. Man. And now, uh, uh, watch out, Alfred. Uh, oh, almost got launched right into... And I oh, was going for something, but a counter by Jeff. Not Nice counter into a face buster. That was actually a nice counter by Jeff the Killer. Uh, I, I'm not sure what Grievous was going for, but Jeff the K Counter neutralized it and hit him with a face buster. That was actually a really slick counter. And, oh, big springboard clothesline. And now bouncing off the ropes. And, oh, oh but gets countered into a power slam. Nice counter by General Grievous. I think General Grievous might, like, be a better tactician than uh, Jeff the Killer. I mean, he was the leader of the Confederate uh, the uh, Confederate Army in Star Wars. Uh, on a counter. I have to be careful how I phrase that because... He was the leader of the Separatists. That There, I'll say that. The, the the droid army of the Separatists. He was the leader of that. Did Jeff just try to clothesline Alfred? And, and he... Man, Jeff just cannot get anything working. He is honestly flailing right now. I think he knows that his, go his goose might actually be cooked. Oh, uh, never mind. This time he finally nails that springboard kick into the cover. One... But only gets a one count. But I do think General Grievous is the better tactician of the two. Oh, but oh, now, oh, now there we go. Now Jeff is going to put that to the test. Going after that turnbuckle that he set up that he exposed. And, oh, face first into the turn. That's exactly what he did to Venom. But General Grievous is like, I've had enough of your bullshit. I've had enough of your horse shit, Jeff the Killer. And now, oh, big left hand knocking him down. Uh, what worked on Venom apparently is not working on General Grievous. And again, I do think that has to do with the fact that General Grievous, I think, was expecting it. I think he was expecting it because Jeff tried that shit as soon as the match started and Grievous immediately shut it down. And the only reason Jeff was able to do it was because he knocked Grievous out of the ring. And you can't really, you know, fight against that. I mean, it's going to happen. Oh, what a headbutt! What a headbutt by Grievous. Damn. Nearly put his skull through Jeff's skull. My God. And now some more ground and pound. And <laughs> that... That strength, that's never not going to look weird to me. That falling headbutt. And now just just bullying him around. Oh, counter though. Irish whip into the ropes. I missed a clothesline. Oh, nice neck breaker by Jeff. Hooking the leg. Oh, but Grievous is just too wide. He's too long. Immediately into the ropes for the break. Oh, and look at that spinning Uragi by Grievous. And Grievous knew that that looked sexy. That was a damn good Uranagi. And now, oh, oh look at this. Turnabout is fair play. Throwing Jeff right into the turnbuckle that he exposed. How you like them apples? And now Grievous, second rope. Big body splash. He won the tag team titles of the body splash. Into the cover. One, two. Oh, but a kick out at two by Jeff the Killer. I can't believe that this match is baby facing General Grievous so hard. But, I mean, Jeff the Killer's been such a dick this entire time. Not saying that General Grievous isn't a dick. He exclusively is, but still another big power slam. And now Grievous with a springboard. Oh, but Je oh, that was a mistake. That was an error right there, in my opinion. He should not have gone for a springboard. That honestly might cost him his. He, that might cost him this match. Oh, springboard. Oh, springboard kicked in the face again by Jeff. Into the cover. One. The, but only a one count. General Grievous still being very resilient here. And oh, and again throwing him into the exposed turn. But oh, and now uh, spearing him into it. And now Jeff just pouncing. Jeff saw that springboard attempt and pounced, ladies and gentlemen. That might be an unforced error there by General Grievous. So he might have actually snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. Oh, wait a second. And oh, Jeff capitalizing with a brutal DDT on the apron. Trying absolutely... He's like, oh, your your entire body's made of metal, huh? We're going to see if that I can put a crack, in, a, a crack or a dent in your mask, dude. You look like a reptile. You're just, you're just weird. That's racist. That has racist undertones, Jeff. How dare you? I get it. You've literally bleached your skin white. Well, where am I going with this bit? Anyway, but yeah, General. Oh, General Grievous does not look. The General Grievous does not look that good. Oh, counter though. You can go Russian leg sweep. But man, he was the the way he was leaning on the ropes. That DDT did some damage. And now Jeff. And again, now Grievous was all spaghetti legs. And again into the turnbuckle. Oh no. Oh. Oh no, not a snake eyes. Not and snake eyes right into the exposed turnbuckle. Right into a go to sleep. What a combination by Jeff. Into the cover. One, two, three. Jeff the killer outmaneuvers and outplays General Grievous in this matchup. 
I'm actually surprised by that. I thought General Grievous had this one. I honestly thought he had this one. And you know what? If Jeff the Killer wasn't a dirty, rotten cheater, I think he would have won. Again, why is this match baby facing General Grievous so hard? He's a dick, but he didn't wrestle like one. J Jeff the Killer did. But you absolutely know what I said absolutely still it still stands. Jeff the Killer is going to be watching this match very closely because uh, you know he is licking his lips. I, you know he is begging for Deku to win this match. He wants any opportunity he can to try to kill this kid. But up next is our main event. John Cena versus Deku here in the second half, the final match in the second round of the Totally Awesome Tournament. Who is moving on to the quarterfinals to face off against Jeff the Killer? That's going to be a hard match, whoever wins this one, because Jeff has defeated Venom, and he's defeated General Grievous. Sure, it was by underhanded means, but he still got it done. Both Venom and General Grievous, I would say, are bigger and smarter than he is, but he still found a way to beat them. So that's what either John Cena or Deku is going to have to contend with in this matchup. But here we go. Je this honestly, I, I honestly believe that Deku would be just the biggest John Cena fan. Because if you think about it, All Might is basically the John Cena of My Hero Academia. Deku would absolutely be a huge John Cena fan. He, would, he wouldn't just be a John Cena fan. He would be a John Cena stan. Not the guy that got super kicked by Shawn Michaels. But you know what I'm saying. And look at Deku. He just looks super excited. He's all, he always just looks happy to be here. But I think he's honestly looking forward to this. And I think John Cena is too. Because I think we all see something special in this kid. And a lot of people have picked Deku to win this entire thing. And he might just do that. He defeated Broly in the first round. Which honestly shocked me. Yeah, he caught Broly with a Hurricane Rana and pinned him. But he still beat Broly after being assaulted by Jeff the Killer before the match started. So Deku has been nothing short of impressive during his run in TAW thus far. But can he defeat the legendary John Cena? And here we go, starting with a collar and elbow tie-up. Shout out to Sean McCarty. I know how much you love those. They make you squee. Just be sure to change your underwear after the show, buddy. Uh, but anyway, nice uh, chain grappling. Oh, and, oh, Deku immediately into the crossface. That's the move that he used to literally make Freddy Krueger quit. Briefly quit TAW. He's got it locked in. But John Cena using his power to maneuver his way out of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, and look at that. That, 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 that he just backed off a little bit there. Bolt counter. And, oh, what a drop kick right to the sternum of Deku. This is going to, I can already tell this is going to be a fun match. Big clothesline, knocking down the younger competitor. And now John Cena going, going to work on Deku here with this, these nice punches and these body shots. No, oh, and look, look at this barrage of body shots, ladies and gentlemen. And, oh, try to go for a big punch. But nice counter by Deku into that spinning savat kick. And now uh, Deku clearly is going to have the more aerial and tactical advantage. John Cena is going to have resiliency and strength. And I'll look at that from the, from the second rope into a cover. One, but only a one count off that sunset flip. Now Deku, oh, runs right into a hip toss. John Cena also is going to have the experience advantage. And a bulldog take a shot of whatever you have to be eating or drinking. We take shots of things we eat here at TAW. It doesn't make sense uh, so long as you don't think about it. Uh, but... Uh, now, I wanna, we just, can we stop launching people into Alfred, please? At least no one launched him out of the ring this time. But, oh, nice fight. Fisherman Suplex cover. One, but only a one count for John Cena. And he loves that did that jumping Fisherman Suplex. And now Deku in a little bit of trouble here at the early going. And setting up for that Sunset Flip power bomb, And he connects. One. Oh, but oh, counter by Deku. One. Two. And John Cena was able to kick out. Oh, what man, that kick got John Cena right in the jaw. No, Deku top rope. Oh, went for a missile drop kick, but I think he telegraphed that a little bit too much, and John Cena saw it coming. Oh, counter, though, by Deku, kick to the face. And again, I think John, I think Deku might also have the striking advantage. Although John Cena's a bit of a brawler himself, so I, th I think it might be uh, closer than we think, but still. Oh, there we go, big punch. I think as far as punches, John Cena has the advantage. As far as kicks, Deku has the advantage. Oh, oh try to go for that diving leg drop. Nice counter into a power bomb. What a counter by Deku. Now Deku from behind and now lifting him up. Oh, almost into a blue thunder bomb. That was nice. And now building some uh, offensive going after the back. And oh, drop kicking him right out of the ring, spinning drop kick. And now Deku just flying to the outside. That is the advantage that Deku brings to the table over John Cena. John Cena is not exactly a high flyer outside of that diving leg drop that he likes to employ. And now Deku springboard. Oh, 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 
He landed right on his face. Again, the experience of John Cena. He's he's seen a couple things in wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. He saw that springboard coming from a mile away and was able to avoid it. And oh, uh, big clothesline again. You know, John Cena wisely breaking up the count. He uh, uh, oh, counter though by Deku. Counter big punch. And oh, float over. Oh, and DD does he he stood John Cena up on his head with that DDT. Oh, Deku going for it again. And another DDT! Man, he spiked John Cena on the floor twice with consecutive flying DDTs. And again, Deku flying through the sky, just wiping out John Cena multiple times in a row. Man, Deku has the advantage right now, and John Cena's in trouble. Oh, counter, though. Nice counter by, by John Cena, though, but runs right into a Frankensteiner. This is how he beat Broly. One! Oh, but a counter by Cena. One! But only a one count. Back and forth we go here. No one has had a clear advantage yet, I would say. One minute it's Deku in the driver's seat, the next it's John Cena. Oh, speaking of that diving leg drop. Oh, right to the back of that. That is such a devastating move. Now into the cover. One, two, but only a two count. Man, that... Oh, and another massive clothesline. Man, John Cena throws some absolutely hellacious clotheslines. Oh, John Cena going up again. Oh, oh counter. And another diving leg drop right to the back of the head. And another cover. One, two. Oh, and a kick out at two and a half. That was a little bit closer. That was a two and a half. And going to Is he going to go for it again? No, oh, kick right to the gut. And, oh, big punch. And Deku is in a little bit of jeopardy here. But again, this match just keeps swinging back and forth between these two. Oh, and, oh, speaking of kicks, that's what I'm talking about right there. That was a devastating kick and a big clothesline by Deku trying to build some momentum here. Now going to the outside. And a nice helo over the top. Nice move by Deku. Again, using his aerial advantage to his advantage. And another one. Oh, this time into a Rana. Man, Deku needs to be careful. He does that and he almost hits his head on the mat every time. It scares the shit out of me. Cover. One. Two. Only got a two. Man, this is going back and forth. Back and forth. And oh, nice combination again. The strikes of Deku here. Oh, now Irish. Oh, never mind. Oh, counter by John Cena. Nice counter. And now John Cena just hurling Deku into the turnbuckle. And I think John Cena also... Oh, look at this big gut wrench suplex. I think John Cena, as far as just straight up pro wrestling, has the advantage. Because we've seen so many different kinds of suplexes and maneuvers by John Cena. Oh, nice counter. Oh, and Deku... Oh, a knee DT jamming the knee of John Cena. Smart move. And oh, and another shot to the leg. And right into shoot style. Smart move by Deku going after the leg to set up for shoot style. Oh, and John Cena spaghetti legged. And that's usually the prelude to the Detroit Smash. Is he going to get it? Detroit Smash! Can he just spiked John Cena with that one. That might be enough. Into the cover. One, two. Oh, John Cena kicks out. John Cena is so damn resilient. But another clothesline. De Deku can't believe he kicked out of that. That was... Oh, my God. Deku just put him in the STF. The STF has been applied. That is John Cena's move. I don't know if that's, I, I, that's that may be a little bit of disrespect, but John Cena was able to get to the ropes. And some punches, oh block, block, block. John Cena counters, going for the attitude adjustment, and plants him with the AA. Will that be enough? Cover, one, two. Oh, but Deku kicks out of the attitude adjustment at two and a half. Man, near fall, small package, small package here. One, two. Down oh, and man, near fall after near fall. Man, my blood pressure and my anxiety is rising. This is getting intense, and this is getting close, ladies and gentlemen. Man, what a match this has been thus far. This is how you close uh, uh, the second round of a tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, now John Cena going to the STF, but I think it's too, oh, yeah, way too close to the ropes. Okay. That might be a little bit of desperation and frustration from John Cena, but he's maintaining the lead so far. He's maintaining control. Although, I, again, I do think that that was just a little bit of frustration there. They didn't was not able to put him away with the attitude adjustment. Should have dragged him closer to the center of the ring before he went for the STF. Because that's how he defeated Knuckles in the first round. Oh, this is how he defeated Oh, going for the five moves of Doom. The big shoulder blocks. Oh, missed the clothesline. Going for the protoplex. And he connects. I mean, he, de he defeated Knuckles with this exact combination ending in the STF. You can't see me! Setting up for the five knuckle shuffle. And he connects with it. I and mean, he's already hit him with one attitude adjustment. If he hits him with another one and the, the uh, SDF, it's over. He's got him up again for a second attitude adjustment. That might be enough. And now John Cena going over to him. He wants the STF. This is exactly how he defeated Knuckles. This one's over. 
Deku is in serious trouble. Is Deku going to tap out like Knuckles did? Oh, this match might be over. And Deku is directly in the middle of the ring. He is far away from the ropes. But he's not tapping. He is not. Oh my god. He got out of it. He got out of the STF after all of that. Oh, and now Hurricane Rana by John Cena. One. To all, all counter by Deku. Oh, but too close to the ropes. Nice rope break there for John Cena. Oh, but Deku firing back with a big drop. I cannot believe that Deku survived that combination. The five knuckle shuffle, the attitude adjustment, and the STF. And that was the second attitude adjustment that Deku has uh, withstood in this match. Just insanity. Oh, but look at this. Deku. Oh, launching John Cena's shoulder first into the ring post. And a cannonball into the corner. I Honestly, at what point do you just start running out of moves? Because they, 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 these guys have got to be starting to get exhausted. Oh, but look at this. And, oh, pump handle gut buster. Deku pulling out some moves out from his arsenal. Well, top rope. And, oh, went for a swanton. But Cena saw it coming and rolled out of the way. That might have been a mistake for Deku there. And now Irish Whip into the ropes again. What is Cena going to go for here? Top rope. Oh, counter by Deku, though. Nice uh, counter with a kick to the chest. And now, oh, missile drop kick to the chest. He missed that move earlier, but he got it this time. Was in the drop zone. This time the Swanton gets. Will that be enough? One, two. Oh, John Cena kicks out again. Near fall after near fall in this match. So many nail biters, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, big jumping elbow right to the sternum. Confirmed, John Cena does have a sternum, uh, but a kick to the back. We're gonna have. A, I guess we're just gonna do a weekly sternum check here on with our wrestlers here on TAW. But another jumping elbow, just making sure that John Cena has a sternum. And now Deku trying to get the audience into it, trying to build some momentum here. And now, oh, a shot right in the back. Just basically attacking everything again. Deku just, Deku is just swinging for the fences right now. And both of these guys have got to be tired. Just throwing absolutely everything they can at each other. But Deku, again, right now is in the driver's seat. And now he's pressuring John Cena into the ropes. This is what he needs to do. He needs to be aggressive. He needs to be more than aggressive in this matchup. What is Deku doing here? Oh, what is this? Oh, counter. Oh, oh, and he busted him open. John Cena has been busted wide open with that bulldog. Oh, this is Deku's opportunity here. Oh, going for another swanton. And he connected with it. Cover him, Deku. Oh, he wants to make sure. And, oh, that was a mistake. Uh, I get, I understand wanting to try and make sure, but that was a mistake. And now Cena. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Deku caught him in midair. And now with his own attitude adjustment. That has to be it. How did Deku do that? Into the cover. One, two. Oh, John Cena kicks out again. What is it going? With? Sean, this one's for you. They've got to be asking themselves, what do I have to do? God. Man, seriously, though. Like, seriously, though. What else is left in the arsenal for these two? John Cena's bleeding like a sieve. And both of these guys have got to be, be just beyond exhausted. They've been going for over 12 minutes at this this ridiculous rapid pace. And we've seen the Detroit Smash. We've seen Shoot Style. We've seen the STF. We've seen Attitude Adjustment after Attitude Adjustment. Just nothing is working. Oh, what a combination, though, by John Cena. Just launching Deku to the outside as this absolutely just bonkers main event continues. And now counter, though, counter, though, kick to the leg. And now just throwing, oh, John Cena right into the steps. That was a nasty landing. I would venture to say that this is the best match of the tournament thus far. Because this this has been this has been fantastic thus far. It, oh, hip toss into the steps. Oh, man. That is the last thing that Deku needed. Oh, that was nasty. Referee's up to a count of six. But this, this has been just an epic battle thus far to determine who's moving on to the quarter to the quarterfinals but that right there might have been the turning of the tide oh what is John Cena going for here what is Cena going for here oh oh if he connects with this it's over he's going for an avalanche second rope attitude adjustment oh and he connects with it game over that is it one two what what how did Deku kick out of that and John Cena can't believe it. What? Deku just survived a third and second rope avalanche attitude adjustment. What do you got to do to beat this kid? What, what, what does it take, ladies and gentlemen? 
Cena going up, but oh, runs into a dropkick again. John Cena starting to get desperate here, and I don't blame him. But look at that springboard Rana, springboard Rana from out of the corner, and now into the cover. One, two, no, and again John Cena kicks out at two. Man, near falls, ladies and gentlemen. Just can, can either of these two be pinned? Honestly, like who is going to be the first to give out at this point? This is a battle of attrition if I've ever seen one. This might be one of the best matches of 2014 here on the... 20, what, 2014? 2024 here on this year. I don't even know what year it is. This might be one of the best matches of the year here on TAW. But another top rope Rana. Oh, and right into another Swanton. Into the cover. One, two, no. Again, what in the world is going to win this match? Oh, and Deku Spaghetti Lake. But I think that might just be exhaustion. Oh, counter, small package. One. Oh, counter. One, and, oh, and again they get out of it, man. Oh, what is gonna happen? Oh, oh, shot right to that leg again, and another shoot style. If Deku connects with another another Detroit Smash, that might be it. That might be curtains for John Cena again. I'll say it again. This might be one of the best matches in TAW of 2024. Um, and now, oh wait, what is Deku going for? What in the world? Oh, oh my God! Top rope, Detroit Smash. That's it. That is it. Oh, not even going for the cover. Oh, going for another one. A third one. A third one. A third Detroit smash. Cover him, Deku. That's got to be it. Into the cover. One, two, three. Deku has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That was one hell of a match. That might be the best. That and Vegeta versus Liu Kang in Hardcore Paradise. That that and, uh, I guess, uh, She-Hulk versus Samara Morgan at Armageddon. That's one of the best matches of the year right there. That was fantastic. Deku wins just one of the match of his life, defeating a legend in John Cena and moving on to face his nemesis, Jeff the Killer, in the quarterfinals. Thank you guys so much for joining me for the second half of round two of the Totally Awesome Tournament. This put the awesome in the Totally Awesome Tournament, ladies and gentlemen. And speak of the devil... There's Jeff the Killer making his way to ringside. This is going to be the, the concluding uh, matchup of the next round. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Good night, everybody.